led by Godfrey Lohom, the Bishop of the Anglican Church in Gulu, followers from Roman Catholic Church, Anglican Church, and Orthodox Church joined together in the processions for the Way of the Cross. The joint Way of the Cross was conducted to demonstrate oneness amongst Christians. And so this is a time of prayer, a time of reflection, so that we are moved to repent of our sins, because the pain that Jesus went through should have been ours. But because of his love for us, he paid for our sins. The pain he went through was on account of me, on account of the believers. And so friends, this is to move us to reflect on our own journey of faith. During the procession, Christians were asked to continue praying and repent from their sin and also practice forgiveness. I urge all the Christians, brothers and sisters, that when we come to walk with our Lord in this passage to the, to the judgment and the death, let us put in our mind the faith. Let us collect all our problems. Let us collect all the sins which we have when we buried it under the cross of our Bishop Godfrey Lohom also tasked Christians across the country to contemplate on their personal transgressions and repent in order to benefit from the Easter season. The biggest thing that Uganda should pray for is justice. Because the Lord Jesus was condemned to die out of injustice. There was nothing, there was no justice at all. There was no reason why Jesus should have been condemned to death. But even then he accepted to die because until somebody has paid for the sins, there was no way that we were going to access salvation. So Ugandans must seek justice. But also there are times when we must carry our own cross. <laughs> Because this day to me, it is actually more of increasing my faith. I as a Christian, each day I reflect where will I be, where am I going after this life. And it's the reason as to why I have decided to carry my own cross and follow the footsteps of 